Hello my dear students, this is Shilpi Saxena. Welcome to my channel Learning Hub. So today we are going to learn a new topic that is binary files which is newly added in the syllabus of 12th standard. So uh, binary files, now first of all we will discuss what is a binary file. So binary file is a file in which whatever data we are storing that is stored in binary format or we can say that is stored in computer readable format. So when uh, sub, the usually which we are going to use the binary file which we are you, you going to use is any uh, logical name any valid name dot dat file. We can also use log file which is used to dump the objects the objects of classes. That is log file also we can use and basically we will be using uh, files with the extension dat that file we will use so these files when you will try to open it is a basic notepad file only but when we are dumping any object in these files we cannot read it it is in the binary format so the benefit of using these files is basically when we are using binary files as it is stored in binary format so computer doesn't have to uh, read it first of all if we are using simple english then it has to convert it into computer readable format then only it can identify what is written in the file but in the case of binary file as it is written in the computer readable format hence it will uh, it it will not take much time so the speed of binary file is basically more so why we are using binary file so we use binary file to store objects like list we can store uh, dictionary we can store music file we can store video file we can uh, store objects so all these things we can store in binary file so how we can use binary file just like normal txt file which we were using the function is same open and the modes are exactly same as text file the only difference is b is added you can see here read binary rb is added the uh, the file name followed by the extension dat exactly in the same way as we were opening the text file so the different modes are exactly same as text file read binary mode read binary plus for reading as well as writing if file does not exist it will generate an error write binary and write binary plus write binary for writing in the binary format write binary plus for reading as well as writing if file does not exist it will not generate an error it will open a new file if file exists it will open the existing file and contents whatever contents are there that will be deleted append binary it will open the file for appending the file point pointer is at the last position and whatever contents are there that will be retained so ab plus it will uh, open the file for appending as well as reading if file does not exist it will create a new file if file exists it will open the old file now the methods which we will use in binary files are exactly same as we were using in uh, text file the only two methods which will new methods which we will learn is the dump method and the load method so method is first of all close to close a file this is a quick recap flush to uh, force the force the interpreter to write everything in the file immediately read to read the specified number of bytes from the file read line to read a whole line read lines to read the complete file then seek seek to move the uh, file pointer tell to tell the current position and write to write in the current file so uh, how to open binary file which i have already explained now before we start with the module that is pickle module to dump the object or to retrieve the object i would like to just uh, tell you the difference between the binary file and the text file suppose this is the normal text file so i will open this text file this the name is read.txt i have moved it suppose read.txt 
read one dot txt this is the content of the file so how many letters are there six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen letters suppose i will delete one and this for to remove confusion so now the number of letters are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven characters are there so now i will run this program read one function f5 i'll run this program so how much is printed 13 why 13 because when we are reading this content so the number of characters were 11 and here one new line character was added new line that is backslash n is automatically added here after end of each line so it will read 6 6 plus 1 7 8 9 10 plus 1 that is new line character 11 and 12 and 13 so number of characters will be 13 when we are reading the text file so when we will open it in binary mode so you can see the difference i'll just go to the program again and i'll open it in binary mode so function f5 now you can see the number of characters are 15 why 15 because i'll open the file again because when we open any file in binary mode so what will happen it will embed one more character two more characters in fact that is the carriage return character that is backslash r and backslash n so these two characters are embedded automatically so by default 13 characters means 13 characters were there in text file but here it will be one more character here and one more character here similarly one more character here so two characters will increase that is it will count 15 that is what is the output in this way binary file and text file is read now we will come to the main topic that is the binary file i'll close this now our main topic is pick, pickle module so when we are uh, writing any into any file when we are handling binary file we use two uh, function that is dump function and load function these two functions are the part of module pickle which we have to import if we want to use these function we have to import a pickle module pickling is basically the process in which we have to write any object in the file similarly when we want to read from the file that process is known as unpickling so pickling is basically no it can be known as serialization or marshalling or flattening uh, so we we can use the but here we will use the term pickling only so we will move ahead to write the content in the file we will use dump and to read from the file that is known as uh, load that function which we will use is load function first of all writing into the file so first writing into the file see uh, write when we want to write into the file using the write function we are not using in this program i have not used dumb function so dumb function if we don't want to use and we want to use write function in that case the object if suppose this is the list which we want to write in the file this is simple uh, list which have to be converted into the byte form the binary form to convert it into byte representation we have to use the function byte array byte array is a function which we can use to convert any kind of object into the byte like this is the list similarly we can uh, mention a dictionary and we will convert it into byte array and finally we can write here the array and close the file to open uh, to read a file again we have to open the file same file and then read it from the file how we will read it num is equal to list whatever we are reading and we have to convert it into a list because i have written only one object so no need of while 
I can read it directly. So it will read and then finally we can print this list. I'll run this program function F5. So it is you can see here this is the list which it has read. Now I'll show you the file. The name of the file you can see the name of the file. The name of the file is bin file. So you can see here bin file is the name of the file when you will open it. So you can open it in notepad. You can see it is not in the human readable form because it's a binary file. So simply when we want to write any object in the file, we can use the function byte array to convert it into uh, uh, to convert it into byte form so that it can write. Suppose I am not using this function. I am converting into a comment directly. If we will try to write it, obviously it will generate an error because it will not be able to identify what is there. See, ARR is not defined. Sorry, I will do one thing. I'll just convert it into now. Now I'm trying to write this list directly into a binary file. So you can see the error. The error is the error. The byte, the byte like object is required, not the list. Means we have to write the object in binary form, not in in byte form, not in the text form, or not in the list form, not in the dictionary form so we cannot write like this that is why we have to convert it into byte form so next thing is next program which we will go which we are going to discuss is that is how to write use dump see the dump is a module which is you which is it is a function which is which belongs to pickle module so we are going to import the pickle module this is the file binary dot dat file we have created a new file in which i am going to write the three things that is two list and one dictionary and i am going to dump in so what i am going to dump the dump function uh, it has two arguments the first argument is the object which you want to dump and second argument is the file pointer the which refers to the file where you want to dump the object so i have written here i want to write num in f means f is this file pointer which will point to the file binary dot dat file similarly i am dumping num2 also and i am dumping dictionary also now to read read uh, the file it you have to take care you have to use try and accept See, try and accept is a uh, it's a statement which is basically used when we feel that it will generate an error. So uh, initially, when you were using text file, you can use infinite loop. Uh, as you can see my last videos, when you are reading one by one line, you can use infinite loop. And when end of file will reach, it will come out of the loop. But in this case, suppose you you forget that I have used here try. If we will use infinite loop while true and when end of file is reached, it will generate an error. And to prevent our program to generate an error, what we are going to do, we are going to try. So it when it will generate, this will execute. When it will generate error, the control will go to this accept. Accept is a statement that will accept the error. Whenever error is generated, the control will go to accept. And if we are using end of file error means when end of file error is generated. See children, this is the keyword. You cannot change it into uh, capital into small and small into capital. This is a keyword EOF error that is end of file error. So when end of file error is reached, it will go to uh, this statement. Whatever we are writing, not only this, if I am writing, suppose print if I am writing the and then also it will print that means this is the block of except whatever we are going to write whatever statements we are going to include in this uh, uh, indent it will be executed. So this will uh, the control will pass here now we will come to this block while true it is an infinite loop what it will do s is any 
uh, variable that will whatever it is going to read load means one by one it is going to read object the first object was the first list when it will read it it will print it again it will read it again it will print it again it will read it again it will print it so three objects were there then as soon as the end of file is reached it will generate an error because it will try to read and it will not be able to read so it will generate end of file error the control will pass here it will match the error and finally it will close the program i'll run this you can see the three two list and one dictionary will be printed now you can see two list and one dictionary is printed and control wall was passed to accept and then the end is printed now see this is the specified error if you feel if you want to exclude this you can remove this then also in uh, if we are mentioning a proper error so the except will execute only when that error is executed if we are not going to mention anything in that case whatever error is there inside try the control will go to accept so in this case also it will run properly you can see here so in this way we can um, we can dump the object we can read the object all these things can be done so uh, i hope you understood all both the uh, modules uh, pickle module the functions which are you we are going to use in pickle module so in my next video i'll take few examples of pickle module then we are going to learn about csv files but first we will um, i'll just explain few functions uh, few sample programs of pickle module so if you understood the concept and you like this video please like and subscribe hit the bell icon thank you and have a nice day ahead